Folks, 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 there is no first cause. It's a thing more likely than multiple causes. Think about think about this way. You know how you go in space and things are just in constant destruction, asteroids coming, comets just hurling. Think about a beginning like that when multiple things happened. It's not like a one thing happened. It's like multiple things happened in the pre-existing universe. So it's like a multiple cause. Not like a really one thing did did it. It's like multiple things did it. Remember, in space, things in things are in chaos, you know? There's no like it's impossible for God to be there be, because things are just in chaos, you know? It's impossible to be God there just like pushing a button, oh make this astral hero, make extra astral hero. When it just doesn't make any sense for even a God to exist. It's just that things are in constant motion. Thing you're in space, you know. You're you could get struck by an asteroid or comet. It'll happen. I mean, it could happen. You know, there's been deaths of people. You know, got killed by the comet, just hurled to Earth. Boom, just killed the person. It's just like in random constantness. So when it all started in the beginning, it's not like one thing caused something. It's like multiple things caused something. It's an expansion. The Big Bang is not an explosion. It's an expansion. If it was an explosion, all the cells and molecules would be dead. You know, <laughs> we, we wouldn't even exist. It's an expansion. Expansion of gases and elements. Because in a whole body's elements, hydrogen, hydrogen and helium and oxygen, all the stuff, if it wasn't for the stars to explode, we have elements in our body we wouldn't be exist in a way. So it's actually multiple causes. The Big Bang, but also the stars. It's a whole bunch of... You, you know how it is for the primordial soup? Well, before our existence, you know, the Big Bang, it was like multiple um, causes, you know. Um, the expansion, um, the stars exploding, um... So it's like a multiple things, you know, even though the stars exploded, came to be after like 400,000 years after the Big Bang. So, you know, it's it's a multiple thing, you know, it's not like one thing, it's multiple things. <coughs> you know, and, and, and this is, you know, there's, I mean, there's multiple reasons I can disprove of any gods, but I can give you one right now, like I said, you know. In space, there's constant bombardments of, of um, asteroids and comets just hurling. There's no god up there pushing buttons says, Oh, I'm going to make this asteroid hurl here. Or I'm going to make this comet hurl here. No, man. It's just like randomness. Like there's mutations in our body. When we're born, it's just randomness. Mutations is randomness, you know. Some things are random. Not everything, but some things are random. So, number one, you know, it's not an explosion <laughs> it's an expansion but I have to say that would be a cool shirt to say we've come from a motherfucking explosion bitches or <laughs> I think it would be funny a funny shirt <laughs> it probably shock everybody <laughs> but it's an expansion not an explosion man. it's a big difference there was probably multiple big bangs you know the first big bang there was probably even before the big bangs we're still early knowledge of the universe even though we can't, we have a you know, the, the we came with a universe from nothing. We're still a lot, a lot to learn, man. You know, think about it. Even before the Big Bang, dark energy, dark matter. But before that, what is there, like a thousand exoplanets we discovered? Even more shit we discovered? I mean, in the universe, and the, could, could this be going on for infinity, it would seem? It's still a lot to learn. But don't worry, once we get the NASA warp drive, we go we can go to these planets, we're going to even learn even more freaky shit. Because, tell you the truth, we might just have to go to one planet. One, if, if, if the Big Bang and the whole expansion causes multiverse universes, then what was left off on other planets, all of these other really alien planets, we, you know, we, we'll go with the NASA World Drive, we'll go there, we'll collect samples, we'll get the robots to go even to the planets that are not habitable. We'll collect samples, elements, whatever, man. Whatever alien, freaky stuff, you know. We'll observe it on Microsoft and we'll be just blown away about things we can't even imagine. 
you know. So, you know, even though we, we, we have a universe of nothing, we're still still a long way, man. But um but like I said, once we get the NASA warp drive, things are gonna speed up very quickly. Because once we can go to these planets, these these alien planets, you know, and collect even more samples, um, especially the planets that have life in them. That's 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 the one we're gonna go to, you know, with the NASA warp drive. And we can make it there, you know? And then um eventually you know, once we get the negative energy from from those planets, we can uh, create wormholes and, and traverse the galaxy instantaneously. You know, um, no, you don't have to wait a week, you don't have to wait a day, you don't have to wait hours, you don't have to wait minutes. It's just instantaneously. It's the fastest travel imaginable. It's called the wormhole. Um, it's it's insane. You can go from boom one galaxy to another galaxy. <laughs> You can go across the universe. I mean, you can color the whole universe in probably, I don't know, days. Um, I mean, in minutes. But if you want to maybe color the whole... But the, but I couldn't give you a number because the universe is more, it's just so huge. But, but you could probably at least maybe... You can cover half of the whole in a day. Because that's how fast we, the wormhole. We can just instantaneously boom, boom, boom. And with wormhole equals time travel. This means you can actually... You can go back in time, you can go forward in time, you can go to the present, you can go to the future. And all we need is a, a massive amount of negative energy so, our, so the, the crafts can go through. Because um, the only problem is the wormhole is too small. But if we have negative energy, we can blow it up and our crafts can go through. I know it sounds science fiction, but this is science reality, folks. This is how far we've come, you know. To, to the impossible is becoming possible. Also, you know, the science says we just need a, a, ma a, ma a massive amount of negative energy. So, um, hell yeah. We could go back in time. Insane. Just imagine, um, they had a, a picture, like, if Manhattan... So, like, if you, if you lived in Manhattan, right? And, this, and, the, and then the wormhole opened a bubble, and there was a Sahara Desert. You'd walk through it, and you're in the Sahara Desert. That's how crazy it is. It's instantaneously travel, man. It's It's insane. You can go from... Pop in in a, one galaxy, one universe to another universe. So I'm saying, like I'm saying, man, this science fiction has come science reality. It's you know, like I said, once we get the nest warp drive complete, that's just a start from huge things to come. You know, we couldn't do this with rocket ships. That's why you know, NASA, you know, said they, we had to take it to the next 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 level and get that NASA warp drive. You know, and like I said, the only reason we haven't found life because no water. But that being said, there was life on Mars, and it was in the meteorite. It was in the meteorite, as you can see in the meteorite in the pictures, there was a there was an organism there, because that means there was life at one time on Mars. And who knows what kind of organisms? We can't tell because it's, it's it's embedded in the meteorite. So just imagine that organism there, and imagine if we go to these exoplanets that resemble Earth. Imagine what we're gonna find, man. It's gonna be insane. So. So what to learn from this, you know, it's not like a first cause, it's like a multiple cause. Multiple things happened. Um, so, and, th and that, I think that'll make it easier for people to say, a beginning. Because it's truly not a be no beginning, it's just multiple things going out. Okay? So that's, that's how it started, man, you know. And then if extraterrestrials had... Any kind of influence, science, some scientists said the DNA is um, extraterrestrial that generated code. Maybe that could be the only extraterrestrial they had on us. Um, obviously, they didn't create us, and we didn't have the alien babies. And <laughs> but, um, but the DNA um, is extraterrestrial, and that's why we might have super, you know, like... Um, this is a theory, you know. Um, it's possible they didn't have influence, but, but the scientists said what they observed on the DNA, they said it couldn't be from earthly origins. So, this means it's possible extraterrestrials did have something to do with our DNA. And that's why, you know, scientists always had trouble explaining this, because it's extraterrestrial. That's one of a lot of things are extraterrestrial. So, just wait till the NASA warp drive gets completed. It's gonna be a lot, lot more answers. Don't worry. Absolutely, would be a lot more answers. 
And not only that, we'll go to those exoplanets and gather even more data. And and obviously the ones that have life, it's going to be amazing. And, um, you know, the ones that we can go to, when when the NASA goes there, they maybe we can go there ourselves, you know. They'll say like, hey, you know, we found another planet that resembles Earth, you know. Um, it's totally habitable. Let's take the humans there, you know. So, um, um, you know, science is always going to evolve, but once we get the NASA warp drive, it's really going to evolve a lot, taking it really to the next level. So, stay tuned. It's going to be amazing.